Hey everyone, welcome to another Ray's Way of Doing Things with Loon, where today I'm going to show you the Iscariot Alliance boss and what he does and how to prepare for him. Um, these are his abilities. So he has a single target attack and two AoEs. Once there you go. And what his first AoE does is 100% increased damage to those that are possessed. His second AoE is weakening effect to the back row enemies uh, that causes possess for five turns. Then he has passives that he takes reduced damage from the front row by 20% and increased damage by 40% from the back row. That's pretty big. So picture your best damage dealers you have in the back row and have their formations as such. Then he has Fate of the Weak that receives damage from enemies without buffs by 30%. So he gets reduced damage again. So you just want to have your buffers as much as possible. And for the team we're going to use is this. We're going to have Great Spirit Lamb, Weiwei, Nasari, Kartia, and Balder. Even though Kartia is going to get nerfed, she's still going to be usable for my teams. Um, I'm still going to keep her up. Mainly because of the base attack. Sorry, Great Cleric Lamb. And mainly because his skills has crit as well as enhanced buff. So you're able to keep it up. And he also is able to weaken and reduce the target rate by uh, 10%. So he's, he's pretty good for, for a uh, support. And then Asari is your debuffer with spirit set. And what she does is just weaken infect for physical damage or defense by 75%. And she actually does a lot of single target. So it's going to pair really well with our Balder. Because our Balder is in a 6 piece BJ set. Allowing him to get that 3% crit rate when attacking weakened enemies from Nasari. Then you have your Car uh, Cartia who is able to draw a card and release a card. And basically boost your team with free damage. So we're just going to keep it as is and we'll just go ahead. And for the friend, we're going to use Arslan. Just in case Nasari gets killed, Arslan will be able to have that weakening effect on the boss so Balder won't be missing out on the crit. Alright, let's go into it. Alright, so we're basically just going to use her ult first. And then we're gonna crit buff Cartia. That way she could have the most crit. And as you guys see, her crit is now 43%. So that's pretty good so far. Hey, Demon crit. So it's already 12k. That's amazing. I'm just gonna auto attack. Auto attack. And then what we're going to do is release card. And we're going to um, keep buffing. Because we need to give our Weiwei the best buff we can. And that is this. Alright, now we have it set up. Um, Weiwei will ult when she can. But that, this is the, the best way where we don't die, for the most part. I'm going to swap to Weiwei again. And get her crit. Sorry, her uh, ult up. And now we could get a new card. Hey, crit. Alright, cool. So, I'm basically just going to um, ultimate. No, actually, I'm just going to uh, use her, her his special right now. Next one will ultimate. Hey, we got the defense down. Perfect. Yeah, we're just going to auto attack. That's a lot of damage. Alright, cool. Now we could ultimate. Because we have a crit buff. Oof. Alright, then, um... Might as well ult with him, too. Sorry, I wasn't sorry, too. 
Hey, that's not bad. Hey, we get a free uh, free attack with it too. That's uh, pretty good. And then I'm gonna swap to um, Cartia and release card. Basically, you just want to keep uh, rotating your buffs. That way, you won't die, pretty much. I do more damage from a single target, sadly. I'm gonna swap to Great Cleric Lamb so I'm able to get a uh, more damage buff. There we go. 40k, not bad. I'm gonna have to special here to keep Weiwei's buff. So sad, his uh, skill gems got messed up. Might as well ult here. Hey, that's a lot of damage. Alright, so we already have our uh, card the way we want it. So we're just going to auto attack. And keep buffing our um, Balder because he's the best damage dealer we have at the moment. There we go. I'm gonna crit buff our Cartia. That way she could get the uh, um, next one. I'm gonna ult here. I mean, you want to use your ult on cooldown um, if you can. Oof! All right, so Nasari got wrecked that one sadly. Crit buff our. Um... There we go. So I'm gonna have to swap over to Weiwei so I could refresh heal as well as give Arslan um, the special as well. Otherwise, he's not gonna make it. And it just sucks because Nasari died. Now let's go for a high, high card. Hey, there we go. We got the crit. I'm gonna damage boost now. I'm gonna give um, Arslan a crit buff as well. And then I'm gonna release card with Cartia. Oops, I should have swapped a lamb. Oh well. Oh, now thinking about it. Uh, shoot. I don't have enough mana. Ah, I thought Great Cleric Lamb was going to give me enough mana. That's uh, my fault. Uh, but yeah, that's the uh, just of how to do a Scariot boss. Um, like, I didn't have good cards at all for cards yet, so... It's fine, but um, if you guys uh, like the video, though, uh, please like, subscribe, and share with new players so they actually know how the boss works, and um, hopefully you guys can get it in the last day. All right, guys, I'm out.